uh, with riches and everything comes a lot of heartache and pain. And it's funny because us seeing it on the other side, we always think, if only I had money, it would solve everything. And here I am sitting with my friend who has, honestly, all the money that you could ever imagine. She's an heir to so much money, but she, she's not happy. And, you know, I told her, you know what? You need, you need God. You need, you need somebody. You need to look at, at your power. Because all, all of this, it's not going to be equal to anything if you don't have him. And I told her, Rima, you have, you have to find somebody. You have to find him and give it to him and let it go. This morning, this evening, excuse me, the song, um, I've sang it several times. But, you know, it touches my heart every time. Mm -hmm. And the song is entitled, Lay It Down. You might be sitting here tonight, and you might have a burden. And, you know, we think that we can fix it ourselves. But I want to tell you, you can't. The, tonight, I am pleading with you to lay it down. Give it to God. Mm -hmm. He is the answer to every problem. Lay it down. Through my food. 
Thank you very much, Jens. It's a very inspiring song. And thank you all for coming tonight. It's our third night of uh, proclaiming this. So thank you all for uh, taking time. I know you could be somewhere else tonight, but you take time to come. And indeed, it's joy in my heart. I, today, I'm so excited to share with you this message that I have studied and that the Lord impressed my heart to speak to you tonight. And to know, tonight, I'm so glad as well that my prayers, one of my prayers were answered. You know, um, it has been uh, some time that I've been praying for my wife to wake up early and uh, jog with me. And this morning, we were able to, uh, you know, run around Rose Bowl. And I'm so glad that she, she joined me in my uh, uh, morning routine. So, the Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. God is good. And so tonight, I'm excited to share with you the message from the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, I would like to begin by uh, telling you all about what's happening right now in our world. There have been many tragedies and many hopelessness in the, as the United States of America continue to go on war right now in Afghanistan. And there's been so many heartbreaking experiences among the military families. And they need hope right now. And as Jesus predicted in Matthew chapter 24, signs just before he comes, he was telling his disciples in that discourse in Mount Olives. We are studying tonight the last five chapters. The last five chapters of, of Matthew. And Jesus was telling his disciples, these are the signs. It will be frequent and it will be, it will be very ferocious. So right now we are seeing what's happening in the United States of America. There are so many uh, good men and women in our country right now who are maimed. They have no legs. They have no, they have no arms because of, of war. So the destruction of war is just heart rendering and it's just a tragedy beyond scope. And also right now we are often familiar because of the media, the, the, the destruction of, of enormous magnitude, the earthquake that only in Japan, Chile, and Mexico, and some parts in Africa, some parts in, in Asia, in Europe, as well as in the Middle East. Earthquakes are just a frequent happening right now. As well as, if you notice, if you have been here uh, listening to the news, crimes are beginning to be more frequent. This is part of what Jesus had spoken, that just before I come back the second time, these things that are, that are so destructive and so uh, uh, unfortunate will continue to happen then and again. Right now there are many murders that are happening here, not only in the United States, but all over the world. And I've been following some of the news that have been, uh, that have been projected uh, on, on the media. This is just heart rendering. There are so many problems right now in domestic abuses in the home. Many police that have been killed because of the mystic dispute that uh, husbands and wives cannot settle them. And also crimes are increasing. And this is one of the signs that Jesus was saying in Matthew chapter 24. And not only that, friends, there is an alarming situation. We are shifting. As a society, we are shifting. It seems that the foundation that was laid before us traditionally had been shifted. And that the, that the practices before right now are being are not anymore being followed. Friends, people are 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 seeing this as changes in our society. And uh, there have been many homes that have been only a father, just a single father or a single mom. And right now, because of marriage equality, our, our society right now, our kids are affected. And this is one of the signs that Jesus was telling us. And not only that, friends, just about three days ago, about three days ago, there have been atheists, agnostics, you know, atheists, they don't believe in God. Agnostics, they have a little knowledge.